Come here, Grace. Oh, that is not where I want you. Hi. I have yet to get a microphone, so I'm just going to yell, but I got a Polaroid Spectra Onyx from my sister in the mail, and I thought I would use some of my new really cool creative filters that I found at the flea market last weekend to um, play around with it. There is some film in it that is expired. I'm not sure. Most Polaroid cameras count up, so it's on number one. So I'm hoping that there are nine more shots on the camera. So uh, let's check it out. Here are the accessories that I got from the flea market. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen some of these on my Instagram. Um, there's this special effects. It does, you can take two photos, so it comes with a filter to do that, and a diffusing filter, and an orange spot filter, which I'm not going to be using because I'm, if it is expired, if it is expired, it's going to be orange anyway, and a polarizing filter in this one. And then this one has the multi-image filters, which I think is really neat. You can do um, three of the same or five of the same, a red spot center filter and a starburst filter. It also comes with this motion filter here. And then I got a table tripod to go with it. I'm kind of regretting not getting the remote, which was also there. I didn't get it because I thought, well, I don't really need a remote. There's a self timer on it probably. And now I'm like, well, maybe I should have gotten the remote because because he probably would have given it to me at all the same price. So whatever, that's done. They come in these little cute little carrying cases. So you can see it has this piece that goes into the camera and then we slide the different filters into that. And I believe which is, I think this is the one for the double exposure. I was reading the instructions. Yeah, it's definitely this one. You kind of stick it on and it covers half of the viewfinder and half of the lens at a time. And it has some quirky little way of actually getting it to work. So I'm definitely gonna be interested in to trying that out. And here we have the multi-image ones, which look like a little kaleidoscope. It's really cool. So here's again the same piece to hold the filters on your camera. And then we have little kaleidoscopy filters so that you can get multiples of the same image, of the same subject in one image rather. All right. So... Why don't we try these out? And look at how cute this is. I mean, I have never even seen one like this before. I'm gonna try not to whisper this time in my video. I feel like in my videos, like my vlogs specifically, I'm way too whispery. So, uh, how to work. What? I honestly don't know how to work this thing. What? How cool is that? Check it out. A little tabletop tripod. Aww, it's cute. And a zing. It's ready already. Here's the front. This is like really not a good shot. I should probably do this again. Sorry, I kind of suck at taking video, but I'm great at taking pictures. And then you can see that it has little number one in here. So that's why I'm hoping that only one shot has been taken out of the pack. And there's not only just one shot left, but I guess we'll figure that out. The first filter that I'm going to try is the five subject in one image filter. The really kaleidoscopy diamondy one. So I have the little piece here that just sits in. Uh, it just sits right in front of the lens. If you can see that. And then the filter, my diamond filter, mm -hmm, slides right down. It slides right into the little holder. Look how cute. Uh. All right, you won't have a stick then. Stick. Anything interesting? No? Oh, 
it. Okay, well I just shot it and it, it took the picture but it didn't come out. So, <laughs> oh, I don't know what I did wrong. Come on, everything. Oh, that was the last one. Damn it, it counts backwards. Telling me it's empty. It's kind of the noise that your car makes when it's out of gas. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I wish I had done that earlier. It's just jammed. Okay, so since I first recorded this uh, vlog on the Polaroid Spectra, I have since learned how to use it and have taken a bunch of really cool shots that I'm going to share with you now here at the end of the video. So um, look forward to that. And also I recorded a one minute manual quick guide in which I'm going to explain how to fix the jammed print problem that I had in the first part of this video. All right, so look forward to that coming soon. So here are some shots that I took with the Polaroid Spectra Onyx. Some of them came out better than others since I've only had one pack of film that I had money enough to buy. If you like them, check out my Flickr and please subscribe for more vlogs.